Doris need to eat something in the morning. So before we go, we always give some hay just to keep the stomach a little bit going, uh, especially because it's a long trip. Uh, we just give everybody now so everybody stays a bit quiet. But uh, yeah, especially for a trip, it's good. Also at home, they always first get hay just to keep the stomach a bit moving before they get the hard feet. So we're gonna, we just try everything on the trip to do the same actually as home. Do the horses know that they are gonna travel? Yeah, I think they know. Uh, they get clipped before almost every show, especially in the winter, their hair grows so fast. Um, they get washed yesterday by the grooms at home already. So normally they know a little bit, but they are used to travel, so they are used to be travelers and normally they know. Divas. We always, before they travel, we get them some mesh, um, just with a lot of water, so for sure that we know that at least they get some uh, fluids before we travel. But yeah, it's very important they get water enough, they drink enough, and on the trip it's hard sometimes, you can't always, you know, stop and give them water, so at least you know before you go they have enough of fluids. Everything is normally ready the days before, uh, we always make sure everything is laying ready. We know the horses, like, can they have boots? Do they need bandages? Uh, the blankets we need, is it gonna get cold? Is it gonna get warm? What's well, easy to travel them in? So, and we just check the last days so we still need something from home or, but normally, like, we pack over the last two days and normally everything should be organized. <laughs> So what are you doing before they are entering the truck? Um, you always make sure they have fresh paddings in the stable or in the, in the part they are standing so they feel free to just stand how they want and pee. Just checking if all the partitions are okay. Um, uh, we have one mare, she's a bit of a funny traveler and she likes to bang a bit to the side so she has her completely own spot with pillows and everything so she stays, uh, she stays safe. Always check where to go. Okay, we know where to go, but you put in the address, uh, you check if your cameras are all working. Um, it keeps control of the hours, keeps control of the resting hours, which is very important. Uh, at some point, uh, after a few hours, we just stop to check the horses, check if they're okay, check if they're not too warm, not too cold. Uh, maybe get a coffee for ourselves and see later around lunch to get some hay. And uh, now she's checking if they're okay. Uh, horses are all good and had a little snack and they all seem fine. So around lunch we stop again to get some hay. And now it's like seven more hours to go. It's getting later, it's getting colder, so we're just gonna drop some extra blankets on. Uh, finally almost here, it's only two minutes left, finally. We got like two stables, um, what better it gives to us. So just see if the bandits are okay, if we can put them straight to the stable or we still have to open the shavings just that they're comfortable to go in. Just have to see. Where? I'm happy to be here and knowing the horses they can have a proper sleep tonight and but they seem all good so that's good. So do you eh? Yeah, I <laughs> can't wait. No, they get um, we just unload everything now and the horses as priority. And I saw they have already a whole team to come and help us, so that's great, especially after driving yourself. Um, and then uh, we give them first hay water so they are comfortable, they get back to their normal rhythm and then at some point we set the whole stable up between the curtains and they can have a proper night rest. The last one is out and uh, they seem all good, they seem pretty happy so um, yeah, let's hope for a good week. <laughs>